Hey guys, welcome to another video. I really appreciate you joining today. Today I wanted to talk about uh, my training for the past week and kind of my focus and my planned races for this fall. Uh, most of my, most of my uh, schedule is set. Uh, I still may add, add in another race in there somewhere, but uh, primarily my big goal for the fall is gonna be on December 3rd, I'm running the Perpetual Motion 24 hour. And I want to see if I can run 100 miles within 24 hours again. I actually did it in 2019 and I was able to do 105 miles. Uh, I also have, I think it was 2020, I ran a treadmill 100 and I did, I hit 100 miles in 22 hours and something. But uh, so I want to see if I can do it again. Uh, I'm a little concerned I've, I'm running the slowest and struggling the most that I ever have. I'm sure some of it is age related. Uh, I will be turning 60 next month and I'm starting to really struggle. And I also had my heart heart attack, my heart event uh, last October and really have not uh, made it back to, to running at any sort of good pace since then. Uh, so this, I'm gonna detail my training as I go through this. Uh, I've signed up for that on December 3rd. That's my A race. Uh, I have B races. I'm doing a half marathon in on September 17th at the Paris Pair. Uh, I really enjoyed that race. Last year I did the 25K. Uh, it's a nice course, canopy of trees. It's pretty much a paved, paved course, but uh, put on by the trail running company, Blaze Trails, that uh, is a great company. They put on awesome races. This is the only one that's kind of paved. The rest of theirs are definitely trail races in the dirt, in the woods. Um, but I'm gonna be doing that on September 17th. I'm also signed up for a 50K with them on uh, October, the last weekend in October. I think it's the 28th or something like that. I don't exactly remember the date, uh, but I'll put it in the on the screen here in a little while. So, um, that, that's a 50K. I'm hoping to do good in those two races. Uh, the half marathon is pretty soon. I probably will not hit a, a sort of pace or target pace that I would hope for there, but uh, I'll do the best I can. Uh, like I said, I'm running pretty slow and it'll probably still be pretty warm here in North Texas. Uh, that's only like th three weeks from now. So uh, the other thing I'm going to be doing that uh, I'm going to do a series called the Hula Loop series, it's it's in little local parks near us, uh, and they're six hour timed races, and it's every other Sunday, starting I think on the uh, 11th of September, and then the 25th of September, it'll be every two weeks for five weeks. And I've done that the last, this'll be my fifth year to do it. Uh, and I just have a lot of friends out there, I really enjoy it. In previous years, at one time I was somewhat competitive and would try to uh, do well in the races. Uh, that's not really my plan at all now. It's just to enjoy being around company and get in supported long runs. It'll be great to have some support and people around when I do long runs every other weekend. So I'm looking forward to that being part of my buildup. Um, I hope you will follow along with this. I'm, I'm going to try some, like I said, I'm struggling. I don't know whether it's age related or the medication I'm on but I'm gonna to try to get back some of my ability to run better. Uh, I have studied lots of different training methods over the years. I've read lots of training books, but all those don't talk a lot about uh, dealing with elderly runners. Uh, they, they, might a little, they do a little bit, but uh, so I'm gonna to try to, I'm reading and getting some tips on different things to try that may help slow down the decline I'm seeing. Uh, and again, I don't know 100% if it is, is due to me aging or if it's just uh, something to do with the medication I'm on. But uh, I'm gonna try a few methods. Uh, like for one thing I've read that uh, runners as they age, one of the big things is they need to focus on strength training quite a bit because it's natural for our strength as we get older to decline. So uh, I'm gonna try to incorporate more strength training into my program. Um, I've done it in the past, but I've kind of fallen off lately. I'm gonna try to get in three strength sessions per week. Uh, I'll probably drop that back to once or twice as I get close to my big goal race, but uh, that's kind of my goal. 
Um, I also am looking at reducing the number of days per week that I run. I've normally done five to six, and I have read that it might be better for runners with more age, more experience, to uh, reduce the number of days of running, not necessarily the number of miles. So instead of running five to six days a week, I'm planning to do four going forward. Now on those four days, I still may pack in just as much mileage. Uh, I've had good experience in the past with doing two a days where I maybe even do two runs in a day to try to get the mileage up there. So uh, that's something I'm gonna try. And I've also been doing some, uh, listen to an article in Trail Runner Magazine. I'll, I'll do a separate video on that, that David Roach, the running coach, uh, put out about incorporating a lot of hill work, a lot of what they call hill sprints that uh, he didn't know the exact reason why, but he has theories as to why it might work. But he has found that has helped his older runners uh, kind of turn back the aging process and not to decline as quickly. So I'm gonna try incorporating that into my training. Uh, so uh, this week I did uh, do three weight sessions with primarily uh, a bunch of squats and some stretching that I do and, and a lot of it that is stuff that targets my piriformis where I've had trouble in the past. Uh, and I did my kettlebell workouts three and also those three days. I also did a couple days where I uh, did a David Roach recommended workout for making your legs strong for climbing. It's called his three minute mountain climbers. Uh, they actually take me like seven and a half minutes to complete, but I did that a couple days. Uh, I did limit myself to four days of running. Um, so those are the primary things that I'm trying right now. Now my running week actually didn't go quite the way I planned for my four days of running. Uh, I took Monday off because I had run several days in a row going into this week. Uh, Tuesday just got busy. Uh, life got in the way and I didn't get in and run. But I thought I would still be okay. I was planning to run Wednesday, Thursday, and then Saturday, Sunday to get in my four days and take a Friday off. Well, I ran on Wednesday. Um, I went to run on Thursday. I woke up Thursday and I had a low blood pressure day. and I just did not feel good. Uh, I was lightheaded when I'd stand up. So I did not run on Thursday. So I ended up running Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Not probably the best spaced out way to do a four day running week, but that's uh, what we did. So, uh, on Tuesday, I ran, um, no, Wednesday, I ran 7.8 miles, and I did uh, 5 by 30 second hill sprints. Uh, the next time I ran was Friday, I did 8.2 miles. Saturday, I did 6.8 miles. And uh, that, that was also a day that I did a, I was watching the, uh, UTMB and I stayed up late Friday night watching UTMB got up early Saturday morning because I wanted to see the uh, Winners coming in so I actually got on the treadmill and I did an uphill hike uh, for nine miles uh, And then I did a 6.8 mile run after that and then today I went out and I did 5.3 miles uh, outside uh, And I also did the hill sprints uh, six by 30 seconds so all told, I ended up with like 28.1 miles of running, but I did a lot of walking this week. I ended up with 22.7. So uh, still my combined total was a little over 50 miles. So it wasn't a horrible week, but it was more walking than I normally would like to get. I'd like to up the running a little bit. Uh, I, I am still thinking I'll most, like, most weeks I'll get 30 to 40 miles running. Uh, but that'll vary some depending on which long runs I do. Like when I started doing those long runs for Hulu in the uh, in a few weeks, uh, that'll up at least the, every other week when I'm running the Hulu. But uh, that's kind of how my training went. I think it was a good week. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing how if some of these changes can help me become a stronger runner again. Um, I'm looking forward to my goals this fall. Um, I hope you consider following along. If you found any of this information interesting, please consider hitting the thumbs up, the like button. If you are interested in following along with this journey and seeing if we can learn anything or learn anything together, uh, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe. 
Uh, other than that, I hope you're having a wonderful week and keep moving. Thank you.